The following is a presentation of WWE's Smackdown Your Vote and Cable in a Classroom. The 2010 midterm election is one of the most important in our nation's history, with control of both houses of Congress at stake. One of the most critical issues being discussed is health care. Earlier this year, a controversial health care bill was passed and signed into law. Key facets of this ongoing debate include the government's role as a regulator and provider, universal coverage, rising costs, and quality of care. We spoke to some young adults to find out where they stand on this issue. Here is what the Democrats had to say. I believe the government should, have, should play a strong role in providing young adults with health care. As I previously said, I believe health care is a right and not a privilege. So therefore, everyone should have equal access to it and it should be affordable. I don't believe that one um, age, age demographic of the population should have an easier time getting it than another age demographic. It should be equally affordable and accessible to everyone. I think that the way we can control costs while maintaining a high quality of care is aiming our initiatives at younger people. I think that that's really a generation that we're going to see a lot of problems if we have a lot of genetically modified foods and items like that that is going to affect us for years and years down the road and we'll be paying for. So I think if we aim at our youth, we really can help fix tomorrow and bring down costs. Healthcare, I believe, is a major issue um, because I think there's people who don't know a lot about healthcare and think, well, if they don't have um, a job and they can't afford healthcare in the first place, then why would we just give it to people who aren't working for it? And that is not the case. There are so many families, middle class, that work very hard and cannot afford healthcare. And uh, you cannot leave American citizens just uh, thinking, oh, I can't afford health care, therefore I just have to be sick and, you know, potentially die, you know, whether it be um, a predetermined illness, whether it be cancer or something, and an insurance company not accepting you. That's unacceptable. We live in a country where we should have a higher standard than that. Uh, no one should be turned down. No one should have to worry about, I can't afford living, you know, I can't afford getting health care to make sure that I live a long life. Uh, and it's very disturbing that that even be an issue or a topic brought up for debate whether or not, um, you know, people should have health care. Everyone, I believe, should have access to health care. Absolutely. Here is what the Republicans had to say. The long-term uh, cost of health care, that's what really sort of scares me. It seems that it's going to keep on rising, and with the new bill, there's going to be uh, technology improvements that are going to be forced upon hospitals, and in a few years, those call those prices are really going to spike once those uh, enforcements start to take uh, enactment. So the government really, I think they, needs to, they need to reassess the bill that they put into plan and um, think about giving it back to the private sector. When it comes to providing young adults with their health care, um, I think if they're going to give us any kind of break financially on how much it's going to cost, I think that this also needs to come along with uh, different seminars. This maybe could be held at colleges or in high school about healthy, healthy living, um, how to keep yourself healthy so that you don't need to use the health care. I think that that should be made mandatory before you buy health care if you're between that age of 18 and 30 that you need to attend a seminar on healthy living. I think we need to encourage businesses to give their employees a good health care package, a good health care system. I think by encouraging employers and small businesses to develop their own health care system, make it more affordable, make it easier to get, it would, it would take away the problem of people getting individual health care and that problem would be non-existent because they would be either pay for their small employee or they would be able to afford it on their own. No matter what your position may be on the issues, if you and your friends and family want your voices heard, you need to smack down your vote on Election Day, Tuesday, November 2nd.